Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, because this video is an updated video for the best modding app in the community. So basically, over the past couple of weeks, I've seen increased comments saying, Hey Echo, you haven't done an updated modded app review in quite some time. And the previous ones you did are actually outdated. So as you guys can see here, I actually made this video 10 months ago. It nearly has 1 million views and there are so many comments on that video saying that's outdated, do you have the updated version? Well, the answer is yes. So the last time I checked out the modding app, um, we were on version 1.12. Now I'm doing today's video on version 1.16.20. It's gonna work for all versions of 1.16 and it's also going to work for 1.17, 18, etc. However, one of the apps that I checked out was called MCP uh, Master. You may have checked it out before. I actually found out via their Facebook page that they discontinued last year. So as you guys can see here posted on their Facebook page, due to the platform strategy adjustments and technical support issues, we regret to announce you that the MCP Master will be closed on September 27th, 2019. And then explains detail on how to stop your like premium version. It says, we apologize for the inconvenience brought to you by the termination of Master's business service. Thank you for always enjoying MCP Master. Bye. And that's the last thing they ever posted. So for those who were hoping for MCP Master to be updated again, it's not going to happen. Now, as you guys can see here, uh, two alleys. The first one, is there a toolbox for 1.16 version? I've discovered this video too late. I have 1.16 and the other guy was like, same problem. I installed it and it said it didn't support the current version I have. I also have 1.16. So don't worry any longer. I'm here to keep you all updated. So we're just on Android. There is modding apps is also available for iOS, but I'm doing this on Android. So let me just close down the ordinary Minecraft. If we go here, so this app right here, guys, which is MCP Master, this thing is uh, no longer works. Like if we tap it, it's it doesn't work anymore. It, it, it literally does not work anymore. It's outdated. It doesn't work anymore. Um, unfortunately, it used to be a really, 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 really cool modding app as well. Uh, but that's, that's done and that's finished. Let's go back to this mode now. So getting into what does work. So we have Toolbox. Now this has been updated and is completely free. Now it does have a premium version, but you don't need to buy the premium version. So let's just load this up. Oops, let's load this up. Now it does work with sign in. So if you have to sign in, sign in. I've already signed in uh, and you'll come with this. Now, when you tap on this, as you guys can see, we have a lot of different things. I believe this app used to come with waypoints, which I don't think are available at this moment. Now we're just gonna be creating ourselves a brand new world. We're gonna create this for the sake of today's video. Uh, I'll keep it in survival. It doesn't really matter. Let's just do modding app 2020 because it works perfectly in 2020. Um, I'm going to have starting map on. It doesn't really matter if you have these on. Seed is going to be completely random. doesn't matter what the seed is. I hope it's a good one though. Um, show coordinates as well and whatever else you want to have. So like, I mean, you don't have to use experimental, but I'm going to have it on. And we're going to also enable cheats because... I really hate the weather cycle. And now we're done. Let's go to a game. So this is my starting point. Now what I want to mention guys, if you would like to see some more updated modding app reviews for the Bedrock version, just leave a like on today's video. There's tons of different apps that I could share with you. Um, my favorite thing with this has to be mini maps, which by the way, as you can see, it's incredibly big right now. You are able to change that if you really, really wanted to. So just an ordinary world here. Again, we're on the Android Bedrock version. I'm just going to simply create this. Um, and as you guys can see, that's where we are standing. So again, this is quite important. You can move this to wherever you wanted to, apart from don't put it behind your map because you could possibly lose it. I typically have it there. It's at the top of the screen. Uh, and then we just tap on this. Now we've got a, a bunch of different options here. You guys seen at the start of today's video that we were in survival and looking at uh, chat, you will notice that I've not typed in any specific commands to change my game, which means if we tap on this, we are able to fly. Now be careful if you're doing this in survival because you will kill yourself. Like if I fall down now, it will do damage to me. I also want to mention guys that this app does not work on servers successfully. You will end up getting yourself banned. So don't do that. All right. And if you're playing on a realm, make sure you ask for the realm owner's permission. I want to make a disclaimer there. Now what is Noclip? Well, Noclip is, I don't know. It's 
the best way to explain this is it's kind of like spectator mode. It's something that I've always, always wanted to have in Minecraft. But again, don't recommend doing it if you're in survival. So for the sake of this, let's go to creative. Uh, creative. Let's go back. Yeah, I don't want to get myself killed. But yeah, like no cliff lets you li literally see under the map. Let's move this. Literally see under the map. Again, spectator mode is definitely needed on the bedrock version. But for the time being, we have this and... I mean, it's really easy to well, look what we just found there. Random seed, and we managed to find ourselves a mine shaft. Now, we can see chests down there. This is where things are quite useful for this. But make sure, guys, once you're done with it, you turn that off, right? Now, before we check out a couple more, we have here... Um, where is it? Where is it? We have here, like, X-Ray and Chest ESP. So, if we turn on Chest ESP... Oops. If we turn on Chest ESP, you can see that we can now locate chests. So if you are having problems trying to find your, let's say you were trying to find yourself the treasure map, you're having problems finding it, your problems will be no more. So that means literally down here, there is going to be a dungeon and we found ourselves a chest. It's really that simple. Really, really that easy to use. I think it's a great thing. Um, I'm stuck on the, I'm, I'm generally stuck on this now. Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, we're going to have to restart. I think because I tapped on this. So be careful what you're tapping on. Okay, so we're back. Yeah, be very careful, guys. I think because I tapped on this while trying to be in a chest, it kind of glitched out. Um, but you probably would have noticed one thing, guys, that some of these things have, like, a lock on them. Top right, bridge builder, and chest stealer. Now, they're for the premium version. However, if you try and enable them, you can pop this up, which either unlocks the premium, which you can subscribe, which I think is £2.00. 29 which is like three dollars weekly which i think is quite expensive by the way or you can simply watch an ad now if you watch an ad you get premium access for 15 minutes which i think is enough time to do what you want to do so let's just watch an ad trust me to get a fortnite ad great um so yeah that's gonna unlock a couple of the features the game is gonna reload and as you guys can see premium expires in 15 minutes obviously we have bridge builder which people would use for servers and, and maps and stuff like that. Um, a couple of things I think that's unlocked is like the MBT editor as well. That's also been unlocked. Um, feel free to mess around with these a little bit more detail. I'm not going to go over them all in great detail right now. You'll also see like a loading bar on the pickaxe. You can see that it's starting to uh, decrease as we play. Okay, so two of the things I like is high jump and speed, which means you're able to go incredibly fast and jump incredibly high. <laughs> I am the best long jumper ever. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, this is definitely taking things to the extreme. But uh, being able to get around the map is super, super fast, by the way. So I really, really like that one. I just have a lot of fun messing around with some of the stupid things. So we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of that. You've also got auto sprint, which from my experience, it wasn't that great. To be honest with you, when I was using it, I don't know why. Um, you've got no bow slowdown. Let's grab ourselves a bow, though, real quick. Let's go to bow. Um, no bow slowdown. So I don't really use this. So no bow slowdown is going to be obviously... I don't really understand what it is. I'm guessing it's for PvP. I'm in creative, so I don't know if this can make much of a difference there. You've got slow falling as well. So if you are in survival and you are using fly, you can slow fall down. We also have being able to walk on water. This is really good for the ocean. It's quite scary though. It physically makes the water blocks rock solid it's like you're walking on ice i'm basically jesus dude it's really cool it's super cool for scaling oceans so yeah if you like that that's good and then you can sink and then you can stop and you've also got blink which i'm guessing is for your character you've got electra fly wait 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 a second elytra fly does that mean without wings i can actually fly oh my god it does dude i generally don't have wings on I'm not sure actually i don't know you've got tap to teleport as well which is tap to teleport yes it's really self-explanatory if you're that lazy uh you got server mode no fall damage and stuff like that you guys can mess around with them then we go to world and we have nuke and haste now nuke is dangerous okay like you break one and like it basically creates a quarry for you the more you do this the more lag it is going to cause trust me be very careful with that but if you like to make quarry mines, that is definitely something I recommend having a little bit of a mess around with. We're going to turn that off. You've got haste, which would be survival. 
You got force achievements, but I don't want to do force achievements. If you don't have all the achievements, you could do that. You've got rapid build. I'm not getting into the rapid build thing because I, 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 I've still never figured this out. And I know you guys try to help me in the last... I don't know. It's something to do with being able to build things incredibly quick and stuff like that. Obviously, rapid build. You've got give item. Ah, see, this is good because you can get given items that technically you shouldn't own or you shouldn't be able to get. Let's try and find one that's really, really random. Like last time I was messing around with this, I gave myself bubble columns. This time I'm going to give myself... Hmm. You know what? I'll give myself a bubble column. I'll give myself that. And I'm able to enchant it. So if we go to enchant, I can literally just give this the highest amount of stuff that I wanted to which means imagine looting guys we're gonna have looting which when we kill things it's gonna be incredibly OP but we'll go to survival for this this is literally the highest you can max things out <laughs> oh my god I forgot how many there are okay let's just get these max that is done and then if you look at this guys I literally have every single enchantment on this let's go back to our game mode and let's go back to survival and I want to see how good the the looting is on this so, Mr. Sheep, you are going to be today's victim. It's going to one, one bang him. As you, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> what about if we get seeds, though? What happens if we do with seeds? I don't think it's going to be possible. Because you imagine, like, crazy looting on this. Let's see what other animals we have around here. I think they've all ran away. There's a piggy. Sorry, Mr. Piggy. You are going to be the next test dummy. <laughs> Holy cow, dude, that is... <laughs> it's a pig, not a cow. That's insane, dude. That's insane. Okay, so... Oh, I think we crashed the game. We did. Be careful with some of these mods. Another one that's really, really cool, guys, is being able to just give yourself, like, as much... As much XP as you want. <laughs> All by the top of a button. Like, you can literally give yourself... How long it takes us to get to 500 levels? I mean, that's gonna take quite some time, isn't it? But yeah, you can give yourself as many levels as you want to, dude. It's that fast. I think the more you give, the faster it is. Now we're going all the way to we're going all the way to 500. Four. Come on. I don't think there's a way to decide how many levels you give yourself. It's a case of giving yourself the most insane amount of XP straight away. And just like that, we have 500 XP levels. Now this one's also really good. Is reach. So the default reach on this, how many blocks is it? I think it's like five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah. So what this reach does, it basically turns your reach into like, like you're like, you know, remember the old version of the pocket edition where you could reach super far? It's like that, dude. Like I'm breaking leaves. <laughs> I'm breaking leaves from this far away. Wait. Oh my God. That's probably why the game crashed. Oh my God. That is a lot of seeds. Okay. Note to self. <laughs> Be very careful. Uh, and you can even reach further, dude. Like I, I, I'm breaking trees from this far away, man. That is absolutely stupid. I wonder if it's giving me, like, anything. I wonder if you've got, like, really cool, a lot of apples. But be, be very careful with that. Uh, you got reach fix online as well. Be very careful with the distance one. And name override. Ah, okay. So you can name, change names and stuff. And then you've got render, which this is, like, your x-ray. And, yes, it will literally x-ray diamonds by default. So if you want all the diamonds in the world, you can physically see. That's a good point, though. Is there anything to do with netherite? Or can you change? Ah. You can show lava. And you can decide which ones to show. Is there no way to change which ones? You can change chests. So that's going to find you, like, dungeons and stuff. And obviously, buried treasure. Player ESP. Block tracer. Track air. You've got entity outlines as well. Holy cow, so it actually shows you how many mobs are on nearby too. Look how many seeds are there. There's even a squid, dude. There's even a squid. Again, the more of these things that you're going to have on, the more lag it's going to cause. So, I mean, I like this, but you can change the size. Is this like outline size or just, I don't know, recap? It's weird. Full brightness. Hey, armor hood. HP bars. Show players. Zoom. Oh, dude, that is a super cool one. Oh, my God. I really like that. That is so helpful. There's so many cool things. You've got commands, and you've also got combat as well, which is kill aura, attack mobs, anti-knockback, auto bow, hitbox, and auto armor. 
So I'm basically going to be incredibly powerful here. Let me go and find a spider real quick. This guy. Hey, buddy. You okay? You're dead. There's a crapper over here too. So there's an auto bow. Unfortunately, I don't got any arrows. Come on, Mr. Creeper. So I I've got like armor. Let's see if you how much it's... What? Oh, kill aura. I've got kill aura. Ah, so whenever I'm near the mobs, they just die automatically. Wow. Okay. That's insane. They just die, dude. They literally don't stand a chance. I am just unstoppable. That's super cool, though. And then, obviously, guys, um, with this, you've got right there, you've got, like, your, your mini-map. So you can have the map on or off. I like the mini-map radius to be quite wide and the size. You can make it smaller if you really wanted to. But to be honest with you guys, I think, like, having it a little bit bigger is better than smaller. And that's today's video. I've, hopefully, I've showed you guys everything that you wanted to see. It's probably the best app in the community right now. MC Pat P Master's gone. But if you did enjoy today's video, hit that like button. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.